Don't let me drown Don't let me drown I have a present for a human, this being said human I'm a human, nice to meet you You have Instagram? I have Instagram Should I put it on screen? Put yeah. it on screen Follow Go away but if you're if you're a troll, please don't follow. Yeah, be nice. Be nice. Be like I'm it. not interested in that. We have a gift. Oh, we have a gift. Oh. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Ignore the dodgily tied ribbon. The ribbon. Don't worry about the ribbon, mate. Now's when I need to use a proper tripod, but I can't be bothered. Oh my god, I'm gonna drop this box. I'm trying to open. It shouldn't be that hard to open. My, so cute. my little business card. If I changed my username. <laughs> you're just like, you're, I'm your friend, you don't need to give me a business card. <laughs> Always put the business card in. Didn't need to do that. Thank, thank you so, so Thank you so so much. It's all good. I was like, I was like, I can't do like you get a journal, you get This is why I'm her friend. Because yes. perks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. Perks. Should we film on packing the the food because I've got no content yes. for the day? <laughs> How you know Lydia's run out of videos. She films unboxing. We will try and make it interesting. So, I want you to do. Oh, that's bottles. I'll start with I do not have a caffeine problem at all. Not at all. I have a squash. Squishy, squish, squash. Three minutes of recording time. Three minutes, okay. Three minutes of recording time. Let's do it's this. Let's do it. Pizzas. Two pizzas for the fridge. Woo! A pound. Banana. Hey guys, good morning. It's Monday and I'm going to uni today. This is a weekly vlog. I'm going to try weekly vlogging. I'm just going to do my makeup and get ready to go to uni. I'm using the Urban Decay Game of Thrones palette, love it, live for it, it's everything, highly recommend it. Hello Kingston Home Treatment, um, oh hi Lydia. Yeah I was wondering what time everything was going on today. Um, so I think we're going to come and see you a bit later on, is that okay? Is that like evening time, yeah? Yes, yeah, oh, let me just look at my list. Sorry. Yeah, because I've, yes. I've got uni in like an hour. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, we thought we yeah, we thought you might have uni this morning. Um, so what time do you finish? What time are you using um, that? I finish at two, but it take I'm in Brentford today, so it takes oh, okay. a little bit longer to get home. Okay. So it'll be I guess it'll be the usual then. It'll kind of be between five um, and eight that we come. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine, yeah. I'm here, right, on the, like, I'm here in the right room, on my timetable it says here, I just kept my uni emails and apparently the lecture got cancelled, so what do I do? If you go to university and you have mental health issues like myself, let them know, let them be involved because I haven't been in for the last five-ish 
weeks because my mental health obviously is impatient for two of them weeks but they've been so supportive and you know they've kept me up to date they've kept the email they've kept the communication having lines of communication open with the university is so important especially when you're like this and you just when you have anxiety like I had so much anxiety because I thought I was going to run it in my legs I was like five minutes late Called Becca. Hello. Hello. You okay? Are you joking? I'm sat in a classroom on my own with a camera recording. I should try it. My camera's recording, by the way, so feel free to say oh hello. Oh my god. Feel free to say hello to my vlog. Say hello to who? The vlog. Oh, hi, vlog. Meet me. At, so today we're meeting at the train station. Yeah, so yeah. Okay, that'll give me something to do. Just tell me, yeah, so just tell me when you're getting on the train. Let's go vlog, we've got something to do! Well this is awkward and public and fun. Not really. I'm going to see Becca because my lecture got cancelled. In case you didn't get that from the last clip. My lecture got cancelled, so I'm now going to see Becca because she lives pretty close to where I get to uni. So way to get Brentford train station. Mark again. Woo, woo. We're in Costa having a drink. Oh no, so today I went to Platform Nine and Three Quarters at King's Cross, and oh, and um, I um, got there, and it was so busy. I had to queue to get in. I don't know if anyone else has been there, but you had to queue to get in. And then when you got in, you um, there was literally so many. There was like not enough space for two people for people to walk properly, and people just kept bashing into you, like pushing you, you out the way. We will go one day. Becca can drive and I can't. Oh, I don't know if it's connected to yours. Hello. Becca can drive. That's Just about. Fun. That's why we need a GoPro. Hello. Can you imagine if we had a GoPro in here? What is a GoPro? I think a phone holder. Literally. Oh, look, it's a good thing to put drink in though. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like, eh, just holding it for you. I haven't slept yet. Okay, you had a, you didn't have a good night last night, is that? You had a nosebleed and... I tried to take my breath, it's here. Okay. So then I'm just completely like... You're more... It's tired. Tired. <laughs> When's the last time you did have a decent sleep? Uh, quite a little while now. Hello. Hello. You alright? Yeah. Have you finished with them? Yeah. What did they say? They mean I talked to someone about getting my meds changed. Oh, okay. You're okay? You don't feel like you're going to fall asleep? I feel like I'm going to fall asleep. Are you tired? Yeah, I have my sleeping tablets as well already, so... These things absolutely terrify me. I'm always thinking like, oh god, what if it goes off while I'm walking across it? Don't let me
look at all look at all those cats. I had my crying yeah. session. It's fine. We're all good. We're good now. We got it out of our system. We're trying to get the cat. Satsuma. To come out. I'm not liked by cat and yes, I'm allergic to them. This is like being picked up by you. I made a discovery. It won't fit in my phone. No, because your phone's ridiculous and doesn't have a like. Because my phone is ridiculous and up to date. Well, I thought I got a burger. Happy cats. Saw it and I, I literally just thought of you. I was like. That's so nice though. But and I was like, that's a little nice thing to cheer you off. I literally smiled, like genuinely smiled for the first time. I'm happy that you like it. In like a couple of days actually when I saw that. You have been in every day of the vlog so far. You can't get rid of me. Do you know how much of an idiot I am? Becca's got a torch and I didn't know it was that way round and I clicked it and it went in my eyes. She's like, what's this? And I clicked it in her face so I was like, no! Good afternoon vlog. It's uh, 12 42. This morning I've just been doing coursework. I've been writing a script. Oh, it's all blurry. There we go. Morning, guys. Good morning. It's like 3 in the afternoon. I'm going to the pharmacy. Oh, I look as bad as I feel. That's great. My phone ran out of storage. I did not know a bus came past here. Oh my god. Um, I didn't feel much today. I've been a bit ugh. Um, I literally went to the pharmacy and to the shop to get something to start it back onto bisoprolol, which is a beta blocker because my GP is concerned about my heart rate, so I'm, I have to do something. And the beta blocker that I've responded the best to, not the best to, but well. The only one that doesn't send me psychotic, um, I'm on Bispiridol. Like I, I can only tell you this, it's made me way more paranoid. But my GP listened to me and has put my clonazepam up to one milligram at night rather than zero point five, which bit of an increase. Not really the direction I wanted to go in, but necessary. I'm going to go to bed now because I'm very tired. I've been tidying my room literally all, all evening. I'm very tired. So yeah, sorry I didn't feel much, but there's going to be loads tomorrow. Promise. Good morning everybody. It is 3am. I'm away. I fell asleep quite early last night and I slept a lot of yesterday, so it's no surprise. I'm going to spend the next few hours in bed, chilling, watching Netflix, having some me time, and then later on we're going out. Ooh, what's going on in your lot? I haven't vlogged much today because I'm not really doing anything. All I'm doing today is wait for the home treatment to you. Originally I was going to go out, but then I checked Twitter and apparently it's all kicking off in Westminster. And that's kind of where I have to go to go to shop. And I don't really feel like going to Kingston today. So I'm not going out. I'm just going to stay in and wait. Wait until tomorrow. That's my attitude. Um, I've got the home treatment team coming today. The Bispiridol. What's going on? You're like, welcome to my little cozy corner in my room. I hope you are doing okay. This is like a vlog, you know. This is a really vlog. The weirdest thing just happened. I filmed a really quick clip on my laptop, which I'll play for you now. I've had years in less than two minutes. So I think police. I literally just knocked on my door and then got someone in North Yorkshire. Wait a minute. In North Yorkshire called saying I posted a video of me self harming, which. I haven't. So I was lying in bed because I'm fucking exhausted and I hear a knock at the door. Lydia, are you in? Me? Yeah? Can we come in? Sure. I was thinking it was the mental health team because the mental health team are coming out tonight. And two uniformed armed fucking police are there with the guy from downstairs who works at reception. And it's just like, and apparently someone said that I was actively self harming and showing it on camera. That annoys me so much because I would never do that. I've never shown myself cutting, I've never shown myself attempting suicide. I just wouldn't. There are some morals of being a mental health YouTuber. One of them is you don't want other people to kill themselves so you don't put it out there. Like I could sit and tell stories times about all my suicide attempts and they're also different i'm not going to because i don't want to give the means and the methods out and having the police turn up it, it, it's 
sent me spiraling. A lot of you guys know I had issues policing Lancashire. It really does send me spiraling. It's such a huge trigger for me. Well, you know, like, the call I got is like, oh, it's from North Yorkshire. We tried calling them back, but now the number's disconnected. And it's like, I said, North Yorkshire. Who do, how many people do I know that live in North Yorkshire that know of me? But that aside, to spend that much time trying to bother me. There's not very many people on that list. In fact, there's like two people on that list. And all I'm going to say, if you do have concerns about me, please try and reach out to me first. Because I'm a very honest person, I choose to put my life online, which is my decision. What I didn't sign up for is people thinking they can invade my life and do what they want. Like, every siren I'm hearing right now is just setting me off and literally makes me so angry. It really angered me. I've had to have my gun out of Don't fucking call the police on people unless you need to. Like, using the emergency number is only for emergencies. So don't fuck around with it. Because fucking around with it is very illegal. The world we live in is so fucked up. Anyway, that's enough rambling. I might vlog tonight, I might not. But then, I'll see you tomorrow. This is the last clip of the vlog. I wanted to say thank you for following me for the week. I know the last few days haven't been very interesting. I need to take my meds. I'm about to go to bed. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you for joining me, thank you for watching, and if you are new here, make sure you, make sure you hit the subscribe button and be kind, be nice. Leave some questions in the comments. Leave us a like, leave us a little, little message. Anyway, I'm in a weird mood. I'm gonna go. Peace, guys.